everybody, welcome back to Night Ripper Sports Cards. Uh, broke down, did it again. I managed to uh, find some retail blasters at a Walmart, so I went ahead and picked them up. Um, everything I've been seeing people open of the blasters has been awesome. I've seen, um, I mean, I've seen cool like great hobby and jumbo rips and stuff like that as well but I think the blasters are better than a lot of people thought they added cool stuff that's exclusive to these the Raywave parallels uh, and a couple other things as well so here I think those are the biggest biggest ones though so we're gonna get into these four blasters and hope that we can get some stuff that's worthy of those stands back there. Of course we're looking for the pink parallels and the sepia, sepia, however you pronounce it. I don't care. Um, yeah, but we're going to get into it and see if we like retail. And if we like these, maybe we'll order some uh, some of the um, oh, what are they? The monster boxes because those have the X fractors in them. Christian Yelich is our first refractor. Yavaldi. Ellie on the 89. We'll take that all day. And our first sepia is Brian Wu. And a couple sleeves here. Make sure to take care of the rookies and Ellie can go up there until we get something else worthy. We should get two pinks and two sepias per box. So there's one, and there's a second one there, along with a ray wave. So hopefully that's a banger. Let's see. For the Rockies, a Coco would be the best. Nolan Jones. We'll take that. And then Jackson Holiday on the pink. That's a banger right there. Let's go. He just got recalled today. I'm going to be watching that game. That's a grader for sure. We're sending that bad boy in. And then I think these Ray Waves are numbered. Uh, nope, I'm wrong. It is not numbered. See, with the rookie class being as good as it is, I don't think the fact that the, like, numbered cards and stuff not being a Jordan Westberg, I'll take that, uh, you know, being spread out more, I don't think it matters as much. But I could be wrong. They did water down everything because of the hobby format, so... Brian Wu, base rookie. Aaron Nola. There's Rizzo, our first all edge here. Aaron Judge. It's too bad they don't take inserts for the buyback. Alright, still looking for a Sepia and a Pink. Ooh, there's a buyback card right there. We'll take that. Evan Carter, rookie on the refract on the prism refractor. Let me take care of this judge real quick. Keep all those for the buyback. There's Evan Carter on the prism refractor. That's a good one. Take that for sure too. 
And then our second sepia is Rookie Grant Hartwig. At least throw the rookies in a penny sleeve. Hopefully prevent them while they're sliding, protect them while they're sliding around on the desk here. Hartwig again. Forest Wall. Jeff McNeil. And we got it upside down. Pirates. Hmm. Alika Williams. All right. We'll take rookies on the pinks all day long. Not very familiar with how this, this cat's doing this year, but if you know, let me know in the comments. And if you've made it through box one, we got three more boxes, drop me a like, a subscribe, comment something down below how you think your team did at the tread line, if trade deadline, wow, if they did anything at all. Uh, the Diamondbacks are my, uh, the team I follow, they're my favorite team, so... We made a couple good moves. Obviously, we needed a first baseman with Christian Walker getting hurt, which I don't know that we necessarily needed. We've got Paven Smith that fills in. We've got other guys that can fill in. Um, I don't know if I necessarily agree with the with the pickup there. They traded Davison De Los Santos, one of the prospects from our farm system so who knows who knows I mean we won't know if he pans out for years right so you could say it was a bad or a good trade but we really don't know until years down the road so Luciano and Corbin Carroll on the strokes and then our first sepia in here sepia is Alec, Alex Verdugo Spears, Cano, and we've got another Ray Wave here, a JP Crawford, and then our first pink in this box, Starling Marte, not too bad there. Alright. And Shea Langoliers on the prism. They're on the just regular refractor, sorry. Nice. One of the better young catchers in the league, in my opinion. Young Huli. Get a sleeve on him. It's Julio and then Corey Seeger on the all edge. Looks a little off center top to bottom. That one's not not so great there. It's alright. Willier Brayu. Jack Leader. There's a Yamamoto. We'll take that. Orioles. Oh, come on. Come on. Ryan Mountcastle. All right, that's fine. And then our second sepia is Francisco Lindor. Mountcastle for the Orioles. He's been pretty solid first baseman for them this year. I had him on my fantasy team for a little while. He was doing okay. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. But I needed, I needed him, so, you know. Jackson Churio. Make sure to get a sleeve on that bad boy there. Looks like we've got a magenta sparkle for the Marlins. Dane Myers. This guy, I am haunted by Dane Myers and Corbin Burns on the pink. 
78 of 299. Definitely happy with pulling a numbered card though. I'll take it. I don't think it trumps either of those back there on the on the stands just yet. Am I still expecting a pink? Uh, no, just a refractor. That's all right. A good refractor can knock one of those guys off of their off of their stand. Michael Conforto. That one's not going to do it. Let's get this Jackson Shirty onto a sleeve here. All right. Blaster number three. So I kind of was trying to get the uh, the same amount of value as, or the same, sorry, ooh, the same purchase price, I guess, on the blasters as a hobby box. I think I'm one box, one blaster short of what the actual value would be. Um, I think a hobby was just over 200 and this was short of that, so not quite the same amount of value, but should be close to the same amount of cards and, uh, you know, parallels and stuff with the guaranteed pinks and sepias, so it should be a pretty decent comparison. I got another strokes there. Pete Alonzo on it this time. Hey, back to back big meat peats. Sure to get him sleeved. And Giancarlo Stanton. Got a Padre. Oof, come on. Fernando Tatis. Hey. Not the best and not the worst, but we'll take it. Tatis is definitely elite. We want rookies, though. We want rookies. what we're really looking for. All right. There's Adley. Prism Refractor, Andrew Benatendi, and then our another Sepia. This one's Sandy Alcantara. All right. Three more packs left here. Another prism. Luis Robert. Man, I really thought that he was going to get dealt at the trade deadline. I don't know. Maybe he has uh, the final say in where he goes or something and didn't want to, you know, didn't want to just go for a short amount of time or. I'm really struggling with this corner. There we go. All right. Wow. I don't know if that comes. Yeah, it definitely comes through on the video. You see that? That is nasty. What the heck? Like somebody took their fingernail and just like jammed it down on the card. What the heck is that, man? That's Gabby. Mike Trout. On the throwback. Last pack of this box. No numbered card out of this box here. We've got two prism refractors. There's Slade. 
reds on the refractor. Oh man, guys, can we hit it? I don't think so. I don't think that's right. Yep, hammer candelario. Oh. I don't know what to do about that card that's got that big dent in it. I don't think there is anything I can do about it. It's just a base rookie, so I don't know. They probably wouldn't really do anything. Come on. Okay. Last blaster here. We need something big to save this here. We've got we definitely pulled some great cards. We pulled some good rookies. Obviously those two on the stand, but we want to see something good. Let's get an auto. Can we get an auto out of four blasters? That would be just icing on the cake. Brandon Nemo again. And can it be a big auto? I don't even care if it's a big auto. Just an auto. Another all edge. Dylan Cease. The guy that just threw a no hitter. Austin Riley on the all edge. And Jacob Young. Rookie for the Nats. D Max. My D-backs just put a an absolute hurt on them uh, last night. 22 hits, 17 runs to zero. Hey, he, there's an Ellie base. That's a good sign, right? Come on. Let's go. Keep them coming. An Ellie on one of the... An Ellie on that pink back there would be... Fantastic. Oh, Mariners. Can we get it? Emerson Hancock. Hey, like I said, rookies on the very on the uh, parallels. We'll take that all day. I thought Luis Robert was for sure. I thought the I mean the Met the White Sox might as well just fire sale man and re rebuild with whatever they think they've still got after. I mean, they have to try to get as much as they possibly can, but hard to think that somebody wasn't willing to put up put up for Luis Robert. We've got a future stars in this one. That's the first one of those we've seen in four blasters. Michael Harris. Nice. Prism Refractor, Jordan Wicks, and Parker Meadows. A couple more rookies on the parallels. Non-numbered, but hey. We will take it. All right. I think we've still got a pink left. Is it in this one? Yep. So we're not going to get an auto. Unless that's a pink auto, which I doubt. I don't even know if that's a thing. Let's hope. Brewers. Cheerio? Oh, Freelick. That's okay. Still a rookie on the pink. Overall... Not a ton of big hits out of there. You're looking at the two biggest ones up there, really. And the Ellie just base rookie. Not the greatest Ray Waves. We got some good rookies on the parallels. Tatis, Churio, base rookie, 
we got some good base rookies. We've got a rookie numbered Dane Myers. Hopefully he, uh, you know, turns out to be an absolute monster, but it is what it is. So, like I said, a couple good rookies on the parallels, but nothing too nuts out of here. Out of four blasters. Either way, those were fun to open. Just love being able to even open cards. So, thank you guys for joining me. If you made it this far, again, please like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. Um, anything like that. What do you think the best card out of here was? I think it's that Jackson Holiday. Uh, but I could be wrong. So let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.